All right, everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Replay Roundtable, courtesy of Attack Motorsports International Sim Racing Team. Uh, I am Nightmare, and today we're going to take a look at uh, Leo running the AMG around Magior Center, which is just an odd combination. Group 3 cars on that track. Strange, strange combination for this race. <clears throat> anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at that, and so joining me, I have Big Daddy Hop. Thick. We've got Bagger J. Hey, hey. We Please. have a Cursed Axe. Hello. We have the subject of today's video, Leo. I'm a subject. We have uh, Tony. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> <say hi. laughs> and we got my normal partner in crime, Andy, sitting here in with us. Hello, YouTube Land. All right, yeah. everybody, today's video is sponsored by BoogaBox.com. It is a handcrafted, custom-made chain mail creations, uh, makes wall hangings, decorations, such as that, and it's really, really cool stuff. So uh, go by, check it out. I'll leave the links in the description, or the link for that in the description. Uh, also, we are brought to you by HardRockDaddy.com. <clears throat> Excuse me which is a music-centered website. Um, he, uh, my buddy Adam just released the Top 100 Hard Rock Songs of 2020. Uh, very cool list to go check out. He also does uh, compiles lists of the Top 10, Top 20, of different things every week. So every week there's something different to see on that site. So if you would go check that out, he would appreciate it, and so would we. And the music today is brought to you by Enox. These guys are really, really heavy. Um, if you like just punchy in the face kind of music, absolutely, these are your guys, man. So on that note, gentlemen, on the count of three, let's go. One, two, three, go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hey, Leo, I, just I got to pick my uh, intro music. Just saying. Yeah, I, want, I want to point out real quick <laughs> really that uh, Andy said hello, very serious. And uh, Leo, the subject, was not very serious at all. So, <laughs> let's make sure we get that hate mail going. My okay. next video, I want to be very <laughs> mental. <laughs> no, don't do that. I can only it's use stuff that I have permission for, in, guys. In you, world, you do realize that, in right? In the world of Richard Simmons, why would you be Barry Manilow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was weird. Besides, was wouldn't weird, Richard yo. Simmons be more up your alley anyway since he's sweating with the oldies? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. So here I am, smacked out. Right, here we go. Here we go with the oh jokes again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> not, <laughs> not like one of us can even fucking stand a leg to that. I got this <laughs> amazing pass right there, and then whoop later. Whoa! <laughs> no, we don't care about your race, Leo. We just want to bash on each other. <laughs> this, looks like, this looks like a whole wolf pack of Mercedes right here. <laughs> we got like 30 minutes of your race. Let's get let's get this bad on each other. Uh, real quick. Aston Martin locked up and coats of fire smoke right there for that turn. Oh, well, we're about to get some gaps in here now. Yeah. Or oh, so out time like, at least. <laughs> Well, talk about uh, going back to that short track race and we talked in a group about it. Yeah, here's another video. one. There's definitely another one, and there's a lot of big cars on this. These are all Group 3 cars with a lot of power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Large cars on a small track. Yep. So, so what would the uh, what happens in this race? I will Jeez. say, for the, for the Mercedes being one of the large cars on the track, they are a very well-rounded car as well. Okay, I gotta confess something real quick here. On one of my attempts at this race, driving my Beetle, I spun out before I even made it to the straightaway. Well <laughs> done. For the first lap. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I was proud of myself. So yeah, from that at that point on, I did not start on hard tires again. Oh. And, I, and I tried a little harder to qualify, so I didn't start so far back. I actually had better results later on, but yeah, my first couple of uh, attempts were pretty, pretty poor. Feel better now? Well, let's see. So far, we're throwing this Mercedes in this corner. So far, we bashed on large double D's. So far, we bashed on Andy for being old. We got Bagger talking about how crappy he was in his race. Confe confessing his sins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that, no, folks, Leo, is why you, you never know. With, uh, you never know what you're going to hear on the replay roundtable. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
Oh, especially with me. Yeah, especially with oh, Bagger. No. Especially I should do that. We definitely and should have a days. disclaimer. You can't forget his yeah. Days. yeah, my 24-year-old girl butt. <laughs> and a stripper pole. <laughs> stripper pole. Right, ladies, he's got hair long enough to pull. Oh, oh man. Lord. What are you talking about? I can hey, hey, Tony, the Tony, pole. Tony. What are you that's, about? That's, not the no. that's not the stripper pole. <laughs> that is the roll cage. You know that, uh, you know on Halloween when people have their little skeleton figures outside on the lamppost in front of their house? Yeah. That's what it would look like. Nobody <laughs> wants to see that. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. But yeah, we'll, we'll leave that out. So how much Boy. time have you spent in the Mercedes, Leo? Uh, what do you mean? Well, he's been in seventh place for a while. <laughs> oh, he's talking about drop time. Uh, is this your is, series? Yeah, is this your first uh, first series of using as a manufacturer? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, but I uh, use these uh, Mercedes a lot. I, I, for some reason, yeah. I like these Mercedes in this game. Yeah, no serious no. Yeah, he does. Serious? I mean, you are really strong in these corners. Even, even back when I was using the controller a lot, I was using the Mercedes a lot. Look at Andy trying to rein things back in. Well done, sir. Right. Get us back on the actual race. <laughs> oh, purple. Oh, purple well, doctor's watching him. Mm. And I'm so excited. I, I, I'm not eating popcorn. Oh, I'm eating pop tarts. So, I mean, I gotta, I gotta say this. This has been one action-packed race since the beginning. Like not stop action, people. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, you're killing me, Tony. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Tony, the only thing you left out of that speech was Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I know, right? Yep. That was well disguised sarcasm. <laughs> wow, yeah, it was. It was very well dispensed. <laughs> I thought about, oh, look at here, you're catching a viper. Kind of no, mean, no, uh, not. tampon dispensers no, not. have nothing on that dispenser. And she said something about the viper. About the yeah. chrome paint. <laughs> it says still Fox. That would be like having a the name of Black Ops and being in a bright orange ass car or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah, yeah. His like name World is Stealth Fox, but he's the in really the shiniest car on the track. Oh man. Well, the okay. only we got time a guy you can't named... see him is when the sun hits it. We got a guy named Bootlegger named running a Jag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We we had a previous discussion about that. We were very saddened. Well, that was kind of the point we, to bring we, it back up. We don't up. think the, we don't. We don't think the cops would suspect him to, to have any uh, hooch in the back. This is true. This is true. Yeah, I, I mean, Take it's it. not like the cops are going to go, oh, wait, that's a Jaguar. He must be running moonshine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? American cars only. Right? Get one of my northerner hats and put that on. and you, they, I'm going to run moonshine and use a Toyota. Yeah, there you right. go. You know what's like uh, uh oh. oh, oh. Moved up. Couple spot. Lock, yeah. couple people up. pitting. And now he's behind the oh, bootlegger. Moving on up. Uh -oh. Moving on up. How exciting. Good pass, Leo. Right? Those are the best type of passes. <laughs> Not very interesting to watch, but they're so interesting. <laughs> no, yeah. It, 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 when you're actually doing this, that is the best way to do it because there's a lot less stress involved. But, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> when, uh, yeah. It's, to it's, watch it, it's not so exciting, is it's it? It's easier on the heart. Yeah. So I think what was it? The, only, the, is, only, uh, the only tire required for this was hard, race, hard tires, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I didn't actually run this race, so I don't remember. Uh, I, I believe, yeah, I believe so. I believe it was only hard. And I thought it was what only hard your, medium available. What about the fuel on the Mercedes? How did it actually do on this car? Uh... I think a little right, less than halfway through, and he's got half a tank, a little over half a tank left. Uh, I think I was kind of short shifting. It's yeah, kind of that's a, a bit. yeah. Leo's usually pretty good about that, and this being a longer race. Unless it's one of the endurance races, and then he misjudges how much uh, gas he needs. Oh, always, always. Uh, it's only because he's trying to give it to somebody. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that was a good turn. Moving it's on like that. It's like it's like tires. So suddenly like it becomes a roller coaster. Just yeah. riding the rails around the turn. Ooh, that was action packed behind you, though. They got oh. a whole big old crowd behind you. What happened to the Alpha? 
Uh, the Alpha decided that it wanted to see what was going on behind it by facing it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it wanted to see where it's been. Okay. Yeah. Dropped all the way, dropped all the way down to eighth place because of that. That Alpha did. Yeah, sure enough. Oh wow, it'll never recover. No, I now see, I don't, I, um, I, I don't believe that that Alpha, that Alpha's a badass little car, man. I'll tell you, I will say this: if uh, if Alpha Romero had a had a cheerleader, it's a nightmare. <laughs> he definitely does love that car. I do. I love he that car, man. The that thing is. That thing is a riot to drive. Yeah. I have a I have a lot of respect for the Alpha. Yeah. Now I see when I'm when I'm at work and I got to get a candy bar out of the machine, it's always in uh, C4 slot. That's what I always think he's putting his four C is some C4. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless you're talking you about that that car, C4 so. for real, then you know yeah, it's yeah. not quite the same. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like one way to get it to go somewhere care. fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't that, think... That'll make that, that'll make that 4C go fast, won't it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what your guys' problem is, man. I can make it go fast all by my lonesome. <laughs> I guess I, yeah, I was driving the... Uh, I was driving the Audi R8 uh, the other day, and I, and I imagine that kind of being similar to the 4C and handling. Do you regret the pit? Nobody ask any questions. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Do you regret the pit? Don't ask questions. Well, the thing is, I think Leo pooped his pants. <laughs> he made his pit. He come. He made his pit, and he come back out where he started. Yep. Yep. So that's not bad. He got that got that Corvette up his butt right now too. Cut him off, shut the door. Now he's on hard. He's on hard tires right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. When I was practicing for this race, man, I was confident as could be. Did a uh, practice race. Was beating the crap out of everybody. I was all proud of myself. But when I got into the race, though, it was like I was up against a whole new uh, group of people. It was crazy how, how stiff the competition was around here. It was like it's not like the competition was actually any different. It was like everybody stepped up their game. For the, the race when it came to race day at the level I was playing at at the time I was probably what a 45 or a 46 thousand DR rated that's real stiff competition on this track and it wasn't easy all right I'm back what I miss um, right, are you on the hard tires now after the pit yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yes. oh this is like well, the well, fourth lap now with the hard tires right that sure. time so mm -hmm. yeah I haven't been counting. Do you I regret just... pitting at that time? Do I, did I, do I regret? Yeah. No, definitely not. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I was going to run the rest of my gas, I think, mm. on the hard tires. Okay. You do get better That's fuel mileage on the hard idea. tires. That's a really smart idea. We Wait on, he got the weight off the car instead of loading it down with weight and putting them on. Yep. Oh, there it is. I go back onto the softs now and just run the rest of the way on the softs. Yeah, see, they don't do a lot of, um, Leo doesn't do a lot of practice with his pit crew because they were really hesitant to get started mm. on that. I yeah. like how they were sitting there waiting on him, you know? Harder. Yeah, they just gotta gotta work them guys, man. You gotta practice. No right. splash Every time I go out. in there, they're all eating crayons and picking windows. I know, right? Like, oh, well, Leo's got some tires or something. He, come <laughs> he puts softs on there. Oh. Yeah, and I put a splash of fuel. I do like that feature, though, that, that bit of realism they put into the game for the replays and stuff like that, because that is pretty cool. I was only, you know, I, I like to bust on things for, you know, delayed reactions and stuff like that. But look at back behind the Viper again. Yep. Yeah, so, but he'll catch up to him quick and get around him. It, it you see that little, tires off. Yeah, right. You see that little cloud of smoke he leaves every time. He's doing it, and there's uh, the Aston Martin was doing it in the same exact spot too. They're, yeah. I think they got the brakes set a little too high. 
That or they got their uh, ABS turned off or set to weak so they're locking up easier. Uh, they're, yeah. they're, they might actually be really good at slip steering too because that's you're going to get uh, tire brake on that. But that's the fastest way around the corner. A lot of people don't know about slip steer. Sounds oh, yeah, like you're, you're making a better, better rotation. Yep, absolutely. So if it's controlled, that, uh, it is actually faster to have a little bit of slide into the turn. It has to be controlled, though, in a proper manner. That's uh, it's a lot better for uh, qualifying than it is during a race, though. Yeah. Qualifying well, on one of the tires during a race. As <clears throat> you can get away with it to catch up, to make a couple of moves, but if you're trying to make those tires last, it's not very good. No, absolutely. As an experienced Viper driver, when it drops down, if you're um, winding, you know, winding out hard in third gear and you drop it down to second, it does do a little bit of a tire bark. Yep, yep. It, it downs just pretty hard. Oh, bootlegger. Oh, there goes bootlegger. He must have had a stop. He must have had a stop right there. <laughs> there you go. There's your hoots. That or he, had, he had to dodge a, uh, a booby trap from another bootlegger. Yeah, there you go. Y'all didn't see that squirrel run across the track? Right? No, I didn't see that. I just... Oh. I'm glad he made it. I like squirrels. Oh. They show fluffy. I'm going to die. What the hell was that? Uh, he catching the boars that he is. That was exciting. That was Marvin the Martian. Ah. Touchy, 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 touchy. You got a one-second penalty for touching. Keep touching. You're gonna get more penalties. Well, I mean, Tough God, man, as many Tough times that thing's been off the track, it ought to have like 10 fucking seconds of penalties. Another little lock up. Yeah, I struggle with the, how these guys keep up when they're all over the track like that sometimes. It's like, dude, I'm putting everything I got into holding the racing line and keeping up, and you're oh, oh, oh. coming off the curbs oh. and off the grass and still maintaining speed. There he goes down into it, yeah. Yeah, mm. see, that, that was horseshit right That's there. That's awfully kind of him. That was on purpose. Oh, yeah. But yeah, right, he, he didn't want to lose his spot. Yeah. Got him twice. He hit him the first time. No, he got him the second time. He got him. Four through the turn through at the, the same, same time. That was interesting. <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty quick, man. He's pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I, just, got I, him. Just, I just decided to screw that. I just let this guy go. This guy's good. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, too, the, the mishap before. This right this here is a really, really good move, Leo. That was a good move. Good move. That was really Take well done. Spots off of one turn. Wow. <clears throat> Two of them to go on us. Two for wow. One. Nice. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a really good move. I completely forgot I did that. <clears throat> yeah, that uh, the guy in the Porsche, he didn't oh, like oh. that. Oh, he's trying to sit on his inside and force him out. Yep. yep. Which allowed the vet to slip in there with him. At that point, I realized Jimmy was there. I was like, okay. He's facing, he's facing. Shit, if I was eighth place, I'd be, if I was at Alpha, I'd be like, all right, how many positions yeah. I'm going to oh. make up here in a second? Look yeah, no this. kidding. The day, the, yes. uh, the of course, guess. man. Yeah, he's course, not. He's being pretty aggressive. Not yeah, Alpha's yeah, moving, he, is he? I told you. his nose in where it don't belong a lot. I told you if you know how to, if you state. know if you know how to drive that Alpha man, that car is awesome. You just gotta you learn gotta how to carry momentum uh, through turns though, that's the problem with that car. You ain't gotta tell Hop about no uh Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get started on that car. I'll get started on that car. That car is back up tonight. Oh yeah it is. Oh man, I cried a little on that laugh. Yeah, it was. It, uh, I, I I really felt bad for Brian because no matter what, no matter what I told him, you know, how, on how to drive that car, it oh. just would not work for him. But you don't understand uh, the comical leap of him bitching though. That was so fucking oh, I hilarious because he was like, he literally trying everything, frustrated as all hell, and I'm just sitting there laughing my ass off inside. <laughs> it's like so bad that that's over that though. Car. For some reason, it's like every time I drove that car, it had bananas on the damn wheels. Dude, I, I, I gotta tell you, Everywhere. when I heard you took that as a manufacturer, 
I, I got I got all like, what the hell's wrong with him? He doesn't like, drive yeah, cars like that. He's gonna hate that damn thing. And then sure <laughs> shit, you were bitching about it the next day. The I entire, like, not just the next day, but the entire I season. The bandwagon and had the same code, yeah. and then I got in there, and I'm like, what the hell was I even thinking? <laughs> yeah, car. that's, yeah. Oh my god, well you had already committed to it, so I was like, holy shit. I, I think, you know what they I say, you hand remember. a retard, a crayon, and coloring books, and just put them yeah. go at it. That's <laughs> oh, pretty man. much how I felt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Oh, and the times I'd sit here and listen to you race, dude, I was like, oh my god. This it poor guy. My, it hurt my soul. <laughs> If I had a nickel, if I had a nickel for every time I heard Brian say, fuck this car. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, and the, and the sad thing was, yeah, every time, you know, because you know he would push harder, and that's the worst thing you could do with that car. Oh, yeah. So he, then he'd get frustrated, and then well, he'd start pushing harder, and then it would get worse, and it would escalate. And I was like, I think, I think I, honestly, I the main problem, <laughs> not only was I trying to figure out how to get the car to stick on the track, but any yeah. big car barely even looks at it. The mirror could tap the side of the car and it sends you all the way over to the wall. It has no mm -hmm. weight to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like there's that, that fine point of traction versus not. And when it's not, it's gone. It there doesn't just no like break a tire, it, it takes off. Mm -hmm. yeah, Leo, yeah. when Leo, uh, you got done about the ship, you've been <laughs> following this Corvette for yeah. a minute. Uh, was he biding your time, or was he actually making it hard on you to gain on him? No, I couldn't gain. I couldn't gain. Well, if I had a little bit more fuel, maybe. But uh, where I was with fuel and tire wear and everything, I wasn't going to gain. I had no chance. I was just yeah, I was surprised I was, I was staying with him. I, Dave, I must me, commend you. I must commend you on your patience, because a lot of people would still be pushing right now. Oh yeah. Oh no, I had no fuel left. Look, look. Yeah, his. Yeah, I can see it, buddy. Are, They're barely a red in there. I think I might even run out right at the line. Yeah, I think. Um, I think Jimmy. Uh, he showed a lot of uh, strength when he came up on you a little bit earlier in the race, right before he passed you and all that. Oh, man. He looked like he looked like he had it hooked up. That Corvette hooked up around there. We didn't. We I didn't think, call out. Graham Jimmy is a good good driver. No, well, in this silver fox, in this we got call out. Yeah. Yep. In this yep, race, Graham Jimmy, it was a good solid run, bud. Good You'll solid notice that the Corvettes, but, uh, the Mercedes, the Vipers. Yeah. They were think, pretty much the dominant cars in this race. Yep, absolutely. I think the uh, Corvette had a little bit more to offer that track than the. Uh, than the Mercedes did, which is one of the biggest reasons that was going to cripple. Because um, you'll notice you know, all the t all the like the top five was all like power the power cars, and then right behind yeah. them was the pack of tuners. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've raced with Ram Jimmy in the past, and he's a very very solid racer. So to to catch up to him, um, you almost need that advantage. And I don't believe the uh, Mercedes had that advantage to catch the Corvette on that track. I think the Corvette was a better handling car there, and that was uh, what mattered on that track. With the power, because you had the power to get out. I think that's what was important about the power car on that track, because you really had to get accelerate quick to get to the next corner. Oh yeah, okay. I, I appreciate it, or I, I preach it all the time. You know, patiently aggressive. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, all right, guys. Uh, shout out to everybody in that race. That was pretty good for everybody yeah, that, was, that, that I raced with. Looked, that race. A really good race. That was, yeah. that was Silver Except Fox, for that man, stealth that, box guy, yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy in the uh, Porsche was a little pushy, but he kind of yeah, ruined yeah, our he, replay. He, he was aggressive but clean. All right, guys, oh, that is uh, that's that's gonna end it. Yeah. So on uh, on that note, uh, say good night, everybody. Good night, 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 night. night All right, guys. All right, everybody, nice on behalf hour. of Attack Motorsports International Sim Racing Team, Mrs. Uh, Nightmare, we will see you the next time. Peace. Uh, the hack. Force my blast, this is